Hello and uh, welcome to this next part in the video series where I will be building the um, Terrot Iron Man 650 quadcopter. Um, so, like all the other build builds, I um, like to just uh, in this part one. I know there's been a part zero, but that was just to to clarify which frame I was uh, building. Um, and what features that had, so I won't be going over that as much in this video. I'll just be going over the parts I'm going to use. So, as you know from the previous video, I will be building the Terrot um, 650 Iron Man Quad, which is uh, the parts over here. And um, for that, I'll be using the uh, 3D Robotics Pixhawk um, running Autocopter, I believe it's called the software. Uh, using Mission Planner to, to program it and making it an autonomous aircraft. I have uh, bought the uh, 3D Robotics GPS with the integrated magnometer with it um, and plug that in. Uh, also, uh, there's the uh, power module that comes with it so the um, board here knows exactly uh, how much voltage and how much amperage is back on the battery so it can land itself if uh, if uh, low voltage of course, occurs. So, um, also I bought the uh, telemetry module so I can just plug in and uh, fly the, rate, the the quadcopter straight off the computer. Uh, no, have to, don't have to, to take off or land or anything uh, with the radio control system. Um, and there's just some switch and uh, a buzzer for that comes with it. Uh, also, there's um, for the computer end, uh, receiving end of transmitting in uh, both ways actually, it's tele telemetry so it's both ways uh, on the computer, that one. Um, I've just bought some extra wire just to make sure that the uh, wires are long enough for the ESCs and speaking of, of the ESCs, I'm going to use these, um, the Hobby King Blue Series 30 amp ESCs which I'm going to flash with the um, What's it called? Uh, Simon K. Simon K. Uh, Multicopter firmware, or just well, you know, ESC firmware to make the ref refresh rate much higher, so I'll get a much more stable quadcopter. And also, I'm going to use uh, four because it's a quadcopter, so it's four uh, for these motors, which is the 490 kV multi-star multi-star motors. Um, quite big, you can see in my hand. Um, quite large and quite thin, but not as high. Um, so um, I'm going to be using these um, with a, some carbon fiber props, 15 by 5.5 inch carbon fiber props. I haven't got those uh, home yet, but I couldn't um, wait uh, to build this, so I'm probably just going to make a video telling you I've got those home at uh, some, some point. Um, I haven't got them yet, but I couldn't wait to start building. So, also uh, batteries, I have got two pairs. I've got a 6000 mAh fossil battery, you can see quite thick and uh, quite heavy. Uh, and I've got a 6000 mAh battery, free cell battery, so you can see the this, this sizes in thickness here. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to compare this to. I don't know. I don't even know if three cell can run on these motors, but I, I ordered both so I could check out, um, you know, flight times and efficiency and uh, all that stuff. Um, so um, that's just what I bought to, to just test out. I, I'm probably going to go with the four cell the most, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to do some tests. Um, yeah, um, I need it. I need it for long flight times. Need it for mapping or aerial photography of uh, fields and crops in the agriculture. And um, over here, just got some accessories. So um, that's uh, that's the f just this um, first introductory. So uh, let's start building, shall we? Okay, now I've gotten the parts out of the um, the bag. Um, I must say it, it's very good quality. This carbon fiber. Um, very strong and it feels um, well finished. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy with it with this um, so far. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the arms. Um, just you know, screw the arms um, onto the to the frame just to see where it all f um, fits and uh, where to mount the electronics 
afterwards. So, um, you're gonna take, of course, the main frame here, the main plate, and you're gonna um, take one of the arms, uh, one of the, in the bags, and in the back of the arms, there's a piece, uh, there's a bag of screws as well. So just take one of them out, and uh, what you want to do is you can just squeeze this in here, um, and there's a hole right there, and that's for the arms. So just take one of the screws and um, put it down there, and begin sh just to tighten it. Not, um, not, you know, tighten it so much that you can't untie it, untighten it again. Just, just so you assure it's, it's there. Okay, um, and then you're just gonna flip it over, flip it over to the other side. Take uh, another screw or another bolt. I'm not exactly sure what these are. Bolts, I believe it is. Um, and you just do the same on the other side. So once you've got them done, just tighten up a bit. Just press them into this clip here. And these are actually quite tight, actually. But once you've gotten it in, you can feel how firm it is. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and mount the other arms. And uh, we haven't tightened them yet. Just uh, We're just gonna make sure that uh, wherever we're placing our ele electronics, it can fit, because there is quite a lot of room here um, on the bottom, uh, so we might be able to, 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 to just uh, fit some electronics there. So um, we'll go ahead with the other arms. Right, when you've gotten all the uh, four arms uh, mounted, just uh, go ahead and tighten those uh, eight bolts or eight screws up that we just uh, mounted the arms with. Be careful before you tighten those uh, screws because they are um, not as hard metal as you would have expected so um, you can destroy the curve here a little bit um, I don't know what that's called, but you know the thing in the center where you put uh, your, your, your screw down in. Um, it's not as as um, strong as uh, you could expect, so just be careful, okay? Okay, once you've uh, screwed all the uh, arms on and tightened in the center here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to mount this top um, plate here. Um, that goes on top of the uh, main plate. And um, you get these orange spacers um, here. So um, it's really smart because you can just, yeah, well, choose the one side that you want to be up. And um, yeah, well, I think I'm actually gonna take the other side um, now that I've got the choice. So once you've got, once you've chosen which side is up, which I think is this one with the hole here in the middle. Now I think that's the upside. So um, well, at least that's what I'm gonna make the upside. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and um, put it through the hole right here on the back side, um, right here, just beside the arm. And from the top side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw onto there, um, in the middle there, because once I've gotten it on, it was much easier the other way around. Um, but you could just probably stick it out here. Once you've gotten that, just slowly put it down through and um, you want to hit the hole as another occasion so well uh, hit the hole right there um, 
and take the orange uh, spacer here and just screw it on like that. Um, you can tighten it now that you've got, you can just tighten it with the uh, hex key from the bottom. And uh, once again, be careful when you tighten it up because they aren't as strong as you could expect. So, um, once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna do the, the same thing on the four, uh, sorry, three other places here. Okay, now you've uh, mounted these four um, spacers here and um, despite what you might think, we're not gonna mount this right now because we might wanna mount some electronics in here like the Pixhawk which can be just here or the other way, just it can be uh, under this uh, just as well as on top of it. So. Um, before we are gonna mount this one, we're gonna mount some electronics here. And um, that was uh, all for part one. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further updates on the tarot frame uh, and the tarot build, um, for that matter. Uh, so please um, subscribe and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.